ladies and gentlemen, the spoken word of P. Kathleen. Hello. Hi. Hi. All right, I'm going to take this off here. Since we just had our belly dancers, I'm going to do uh, kind of a sexy one first. It's called Revisited. Head spinning, backbone thinning, up to my tippy toes in spellbound grinning. Lovesick lover of epic proportion, pent up release of libidinous contortions. Emotional overdose of hormonal odyssey, flood flooded with desire of what you do to me. Heart pumping with primordial attraction, feelings run deeper to utter distraction. Sirens of warning left unheard to wail. All hopes of ceasing are doomed to fail. Lives intertwined, caught firm in your scent. All sense of proportion came and went. Lifted or broken or dashed on the rocks. Fingers entwined in dead bolts of my locks. All memory of your abandon is washed from my shore. In dire desperation, my want for your more. Blinded by fate and all cautions ignored. What thoughts can't I read behind those eyes so adored? And I long for your verbal reciprocation to hear your broken rumble exude exquisite fascination. What will it take to spill your mind's contents like blood on the table when I bleed for you freely and unfettered, no stable? Crazy horse like thunder, my storm is unabated. No simple tryst, words not said, leave me unsated. Untie your tongue and come undone, carefully weighted in all the places that I want to be recalibrated. Thank you. All right, this one's a little darker. This is a, a co-worker that decided um, something that I was saying about Chick-fil-A wasn't very funny. <laughs> oh, no, not quite. <laughs> it's called Chick-fil-A. I need a buffer, a something to smooth when my feelings are rougher. I need a quieter, a something to hush when I want to riot her. I need a lobotomy, a something to scramble when I hear things that ought to be left unsaid. Because that kind of bullshit leaves me glowing red. Like somebody telling me I need to pray. You should try it sometime. Is that what Jesus would say? And how is it that you think I haven't or don't? Because I don't talk it means to you that I won't? Because I was laughing about Chick-fil-A. You found it offensive. You had something to say. Well, of course you did. Those like you always do. Love to look down the nose at those of us who do not subscribe to the cowboy church way. And if you're not a Christian, then you go the bad way. And come hell or high water, you're going to have your say. And all us damn heathens, you're going to have to pay, be it God or yourself. Who takes up gavel and judges? Never mind your backyard or your not-so-nice grudges against those who have color or like the same sexes. And that's where the burn is, and that is what wrecks it. I may not know much, but this I do for sure. For the love that is God is pure. It's not about hate. It does not cut down others. It does not discriminate. It joins us as brothers and sisters and mothers, aunts, uncles, and yes, fathers. From the tiniest grain of sand to the co-worker that bothers. And have you read in that book what it was he did say? Or to who to or how? And what was the way? How about the light and the truth? Did you read it? Is this how you show it? Is this how you would feed it to the souls that you love or just people like me? If that's what you think right, leave me left. Let me be. Do you nourish yourself with this better than you-ism? Is this all you got, the Ayn Rand brand of all truism? <laughs> or is this just how you think he would approach it? Jesus, I mean. 
I seriously doubt it. He was all about love and not to cloud it. But judge, he said not. And yet that's all you do. You can't wait to stick your nose in. And the message that comes through is not very loving, kind, or even true. Because see, what you don't know is I have beliefs too. And it's not the God you have. I could tell because you wouldn't talk to me that way if you had in your heart all that love that comes with it. What, are you qualified, really, to say what I should or I shouldn't, or how I should play, or, and who with and what? How about when, where, and why? And are you gonna be there to tell it? Will you testify? Will you remember this fateful day? And isn't this nuts? And God, what do you say when you hear that from them and not just what they pray? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this one is called 223 because that's when I wrote it. Another coworker. Imagine that. Whew, okay. Is it me? Is it you? Is it how we feel or what we do? Is it this? Is it that? Is it what we think or where we're at? What makes us who we are? Is it what we're taught, what we've bought and sold along the way, the way we pray? Who are you today? And who am I? And who are we? Together or separate, apart? What makes us soar or jump off the chart? Do you do or do you not? And is, it, is that it or what you ought? And who made you think it that way? What's your God, your mother, your lover say? Who are we underneath, behind the mask and what we breathe? Under the ether, how do we connect? And if we do or don't, either way we wreck our lives and the lives of those around us Inevitable, noise or silence is found. And if I pull you in and you reject, why do I care and so deflect another chance dissolved and less and less we get involved with each other and those near and so the problem rears its ugly head and it would seem backward we would go. But even the beasts have more to show in care than what we show each other. Love ourselves more than any other self-proclaimed and ever leaner, longer, faster, cooler, cleaner, and always further from the truth. For what we are alone is moot. No, po no point, no cause, no mass effect. The tangled web is nothing less, and not what we claim to aspire to be. But more often, we get e only exactly what we see. You for you, and me for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, this is my last one. It's very short. Wrote it when I was 18. Very um, young and confused, and I was a young artist um, in the dance program at TWU. It's called Bird. Thinking too much, saying too little, speaking too softly to ever be heard. Walking down hallways, lost in reflections, looking for voices, feeling disturbed. Discovering deception, lost in, in affection, no recollection of spoken word. This is the fate of the masters of dances. These are the fears of the artists insane. This is the last of the brilliant romances. These are the words screaming out of my brain. Thank you. I can't see anything.